So near the beginning of quarantine, when the NHL had just been canceled, I created a website called PlayoffSimulator.com. It simulates each round of the playoffs and picks a Stanley Cup winner. It also works for the NBA, too. I bought the domain because it's a decent domain, it's pretty good, so why not? And I thought it should be pretty easy to set up the SEO so you can just Google search Playoff Simulator and it should come up. And so I created a website using PHP and MySQL database. I query the database which returns a list of the teams and then I do some array manipulation, basically shuffling the array and then picking the first one to find which team won each round. The problem with that is I think it's kind of overkill to use PHP. I could probably recreate the exact same thing in JavaScript. There's no need to call a database to get a list of teams when I can just have an array of the teams. Especially now that the NHL just released their 24 team playoff format. So it's pretty much guaranteed which teams are playing in which rounds at the beginning. So it's a lot easier to set up. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna be taking my old code that I created in PHP for my website and I'm gonna turn it into JavaScript code and I'm going to make it a lot better, and I'm going to update it to the new NHL 2014 playoff format. So, let's do that. Alright, let me just whip up some code here. Alright, so here's the new version of our website. It's a little bit hard to understand. I feel like the user experience isn't perfect, especially because on the old one, people were kind of complaining that they didn't totally understand what was going on. I don't really see why, because there's two teams, and then one in the middle, two teams, and then one in the middle. So it kind of makes a lot of sense. This is a little bit more confusing, because as you can see, we have 12 teams on both sides. But so when I click the simulate first round button, what it did is it took each of the two teams, picked one, each of these two teams picked one, each of these two teams picked one. And so now we have two sides of eight, and now it's kind of just regular playoffs again. And Tampa Bay won the cup. That is a possibility. Might happen this year. Who knows? And then you click restart, and it restarts. I'm not sure the user experience is the best, but I'm also not sure how to make it better. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck on this. I don't know. Also, if we go to the code, when I'm doing the manipulation of everything, I am using just the team names, just the name of the team, not the location, right? And so at the end, when it's over, it says the full team name, Chicago Blackhawks. So I wasn't sure how to add in the city name to the team. So I did this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I don't know how else I'm supposed to get what I want. How do I re-add the city to the teams other than just doing a bunch of if statements? I really, unless I create objects and then cr pass objects around, but that's just confusing. I feel like this just makes the most sense. Roast me in the comments, go ahead. But that is all for this video. If you enjoyed, then please leave a like and thank you for making it to the end of the video. You are my favorite viewers and I love you. As of recording this video, it only works for the NHL, but before this video is uploaded, I'm going to make it so it works for the NBA too. So if you want to go check it out in the description, go to PlayoffSimulator.com and you can simulate the playoffs and see who wins. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.